Hello, welcome to our next episode of Project Architect 2. We'll make some big progress towards the end game today. I just killed one of the shulkers that was just kind of laying around out here. I got a shulker soul. I'm not really sure what to do with it, but we'll keep it around. I think you have to kill it with this, I assume, because I've never gotten it before or ever seen it. So, who knows? But today we are going to the Bumble Zone. To do that, I think we need to go through this by throwing an pearl at it. Yep. Let's see, I'm, let's see, I'm teleporting to the Bumble Zone. All right, lots of honeycomb blocks. We'll uh, go ahead and take one of those. And am I supposed to go up or down or... I don't even know how to interact with this world, to be honest. Oh my. Oh my. Good heavens. Apparently, to see what I'm supposed to do, I need to open up my advancements tab. And this looks like the Bumble Zone mod. Uh, so we got into here. Leave the Bumble Zone by going beyond the bottom or top of the dimension. You will not die. Instead, you will teleport out. Well, I don't need that anyway. Thanks. Um, craft find a tantalizing honey compass. Tantalizing honey compass, you say. So, tantalizing... Did I spell it wrong? Let's see. Compass, here it is. Pollen puff. Mining, mining a pile of pollen. Mining a pile of pollen. Dear God. All right, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I seem to have made a mistake. They're all mad at me. Seems I have found a pile of pollen. I did not get it though. Why not? Wow, they're all really mad at me. They also seem to stay mad and follow me everywhere. <laughs> what? They just find whatever this is, so. Interesting. Alright, I got some pollen this time. So now we got a pollen puff. And we just need a bucket of honey and a normal compass. Would seem to get a bucket of honey. There's only one way, I guess. And that is with cyclic. So I need to get this melting chamber. Seems easy enough. Can I craft it instantly? No, we need glass and another furnace. One melting chamber. And I think I can just plop it down pretty much anywhere. I don't really care. Um, oh, no, not, not there. Now it's got water. Okay, I didn't keep the water good. You can go ahead and melt some bottles of honey. You get it, and then see if we have a bucket in here. Nope, sure don't. So we'll make one. Okay. I would like to get the honey, please. Oh wait, now it's gotta be pumped out to uh something, right? A fluid encapsulator. I'm sure I have one under somewhere. There it is, and we'll just use whatever energy is in there to get our thing, and we should be able to go ahead and make ourselves a honey compass. Locate the cell maze structure or right click a beehive bee nest, locate compass on its position. Okay, so we need to go find that structure, I think. Also, apparently, if I feed these hives with honey or something, I'm not sure what to feed them with, actually. It said if I feed them, feed a honeycomb brood block or feed a bee until you get protection of the hive effect. What do I feed you with? Like, oh, God. Oh, no, they're going to be mad again. So apparently, we need to get protection of the hive to go in here. And I don't know how to get it. It's feed them something, but what do I feed them? Collect honey from filled pores. Yeah, so feed them what? Oh, I got you. Gotta give them honey bottles and then you'll get it. So now we have. We have that for a minute, I guess. Do I just keep feeding it while I get extra? I found it. It would appear we need more. Of whatever this is, I assume those guys don't... Oh my god. That's actually cool. Wait a second. I think, yeah, I think we did need that for something, but I'm not... I don't remember what it was. Oh my god, this is so much better. Look at me. Alright, so what do we need here? I need to find the queen somehow. 
So apparently there's a honey compass from a structure's honey cocoon. Um, that'll point me to it. And we found one of these, so hopefully this will point me to the queen. Hello, behemoth. I think it's pointing towards this thing. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Do I use this? So I got a dance floor going on, but this doesn't help me get the thing I need. I think I was supposed to find a different kind of compass. And the first one I find in the next one uh, takes me to the throne pillar. Very lucky. For once. This is what the throne pil pillar looks like, apparently. I did fly by this and thought it looked pretty interesting, so... I guess I'm supposed to go up. I assume. I really don't know. Well, I think I found the queen bee. I cannot move in here. This is actually insane. Oh, there's a door. I just gave her a honey bottle. And I got something, maybe. So, quest line bestowed upon you from the Melodian Queen. Complete the adventure. I have to do something for her, apparently. Craft 12 bees nest or hives. Consume essence. Craft, craft 12 bees nest or beehives. Easy enough. There's 12. And I guess it instantly gives me the royal jelly, which is what we need for at least one of these things. Um, What is it? This? Maybe not. Um, what do I need? The, I feel like I need the royal jelly for something. What is it? Oh, it is for the bee. Okay, so we need that. We got that, and then the rest of this should be interesting. I guess if I trade her for some armor, she'll give it to me. There we go. Okay, so we got some of that. Do you take this? Okay. I needed that crystal cannon. Damn, I should have given her this one. Uh, we need the crystal cannon, damn it. Got the honey crystal out of this thing. Um, so you can find them there. Or just, I guess, still touch these things. I guess I could have done. Now we still need crystal flower. Apparently it's somewhere up there. I'm not totally sure. Oh, looks like I might have just found it. Seems to be what the hanging structure. This is a hanging structure. It's the only one I found, and I think this is what I'm looking for. Yep. Um, I think I need to feed this or something. Oh, it is fed. And then what do I just? Yeah, and then what? I don't understand. All right, I fed it. It grew a little bit, and I broke the bottom. And I guess it just gives me this. Year five. I'm not sure what that means. All right, so I think the last thing we need for this is this honey block, which is going to be annoying to make. Because um, honey itself is not EMCable. The real only way I see this happening is to blast chill some honey. And I think that's the best way to automatically do it. But it's going to be slow, so I'm not really sure. On second thought, I'm, I'm just going to craft it myself. Uh, wait, no, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Oh my, I'm not crafting that. I came to check on this and it looks like the break was canceled. I'm not sure what that means. I'm gonna have to go look. Yeah, we've barely made a dent. I mean, you know, a little bit of diamonds, sure, but ooh, look at Geo. Um, but not much. I don't know what's, I think these are causing the break to stop. Yep, now it's going. See ya. All right, I think the best way the best approach for us at this point is to just uh, smelt honey and or honey. We do honey bottles and then um, get the honey and then put it in a blast chiller. Or yeah, put it in a blast chiller and get it that way. I think it's our best automatic way. One centrifugal, centrifugal, the separator. I don't know how to say that. And then we need a blast chiller. No, nope, that's not what I need. Almost went wrong. So we need ice. And there's one blast chiller. Here's the setup for that. We can go ahead and just grab uh, a lot of honey bottles. And then I don't really care what happens to the bottles after that. So we're just gonna 
do that. It's going to do its thing. And then it's going to go into, it's going to put the bottles up here and trash them. And then we're going to go to the blast chiller and create hunting blocks. Put some upgrades in here. So now it should work a little bit faster and then this should make them. And then we should get hunting blocks. So while that works, uh, someone also had mentioned in the comments that I never, I just completely just forgot about them pretty much is the dim we can research. Um, me to find somewhere to, I don't know what I do with the research thing. But we could possibly get some more EMC. Not that I really care at this point, but you know, uh, it needs power. Okay. So not that we really need it, but I mean, we might as well. Let's see what this 47 can do. Oh my God, that's slow. So now that I'm researching all of this, um, you can actually automate this in terms of uh, getting our pipe out here. I was kind of confused as to what I was looking at, but essentially you'll get the same thing every time. Um, now that we have that, it pulls out into here and it says pattern, legendary block, reason, lava pool, stone cannot replace. I'm not sure what the reason means here, but the pattern essentially gives you access to legendary blocks that you don't need to use like a absorber for. And then your knowledge holder needs to be next to your Dimlet workbench. And then Dimlet workbench, you can choose different kind of legendary blocks. Uh, in this case, we'd probably want Ludicrite. Um, I think that I'm pretty sure Ludicrite's one of the things we need. Uh, give me this. You gave me a single piece of redstone dust. I have words. I have words for that. Um, but I'm pretty sure one of these things needs Ludicrite. I'm almost positive. Um, yeah, and you have to kind of go through bigger reactors to get to it. And I don't want to. But it's used, right, it's used for this. Um, so we can just get Ludicrite blocks from here now, actually. Which is exactly what we're going to do. But I do have to go find some more of these guys, the common mobs. I guess you could also get legendary tags. Not sure what those are, but now we have them. And I'm actually really happy we got that Ludicrite because that will save us a lot of time just mindlessly going through bigger reactors. We also have blocks of diamond instead of the diamond ore, so we could easily also upgrade the amount of EMC we're getting. Also forgot to claim our Bumble Zone quest, so let's see what we get. We got a salmon plushie and a book. These rewards are not great. And I guess also while we wait on both those research things and the honey to get done, we can upgrade our reactor to the next one. So we get the reactor. Nitro is our next step here. Get rid of all this now. And then, yep, so we just need nitro crystals, which just take... Uh, another star, two redstone blocks, and a block of blazing crystal. Now that I watched it though, and it takes 20 mil to get these, I think we need to upgrade our um, thing to at least blazing, because it does 4k a tick, whereas this does 1k, yeah. We should probably upgrade this quite a bit, actually, now that I look at it. I also just didn't realize I could just directly pipe it in here, so that's even better. But... I think it's about all we can get out of that, so once that's done, I'll just start doing rare. And now we also have our spirited rods. Figured normal ones to watch repetitive crafting, so. And at this point, it's super easy for us. So there we go. Now we're up to spirited. So we've upgraded from, what was it? Energizing rods. We've gone from where we hardened. So we're from 1k a tick to 40k a tick. Much, much better. Look at how fast they're charging. They're only going in one. They're only going in one at a time, too. That's how fast they're getting charged. Look at them. I just realized I'm making way too much. I didn't realize it made 16 at a time. <laughs> now we have stacks. Uh, might as well let it finish out. Who cares? Well, now we have a little bit too many. Whoops. Hopefully, this should be enough. We got a stack of Nether stars, some blazing crystals, and redstone. Let's see. Will it work? I think I messed up. Oh, no, I didn't um, put the blazing... Uh, there we go. Now nah, it works. Definitely takes a little bit longer to make that, though. And then we got to make sure we take it out. Yeah. There we go. 
It's definitely pumping in that 20 mil very fast, though. So that's very nice. Definitely worth the upgrade. It drained our power, though. I'll tell you that much. I don't think we need any more. I think that's probably fine. I'll let it power up just a little bit more to make sure our batteries are full before we go and switch it over. But there we go. Almost three stacks of nitro crystals. And I feel like I need two more. No, I don't. It's one to one, right? Yeah, we're, we have more than enough. <laughs> so now we just need to actually just assemble this. We should have about four mil in the bank. If we do this quickly, there we go. And then we can just slap it down and our power problems are gone. Let's see how much we got. We're getting like, what, 93-ish thousand a tick? And now we get 473,000. <laughs> so just a minor upgrade there. Just a small little minor upgrade there. You know, it's an extra, was it 300 something thousand? And the other thing that's insane is I have not refilled these drawers once. <laughs> They've lasted this entire playthrough. Let's see how far 1.2k honey blocks get us. I guess I could have also gone to the whatever place and, um, you know, was that three? They're gone to the place and just mined it, but you know, that's just boring. Hopefully we can get enough here. I think we, I think we have enough. Yeah, we don't have enough. There we go. I don't like the sound. It's really not, not a fan. All right. So let's see to make the bumblebee, we need a stinger spear. I thought we had one. I probably traded it, to be honest. So, back to the Bumble Zone I go. It said she wanted Spruce Wood when I came over here, so I'm not really sure. You want this? What are you giving me? Random stuff? I can make a Stinger Spear with Bee Stingers, and I've traded for 50. So, at least we got that covered. I want to see if she drops anything useful. Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just sticks, bee stingers, sugar, and poisonous potatoes. But with that, we can actually make the bee plushy. There we go. Learn that. Nice. Turns out I, should, I need to go find an evoker to get totems of undying for our next thing. And normally I would just not do that and trade for it. Because I think you can trade for it. Oh god, where'd it go? You can trade for totems with a queen bee, but there's so low chance, and these aren't easy enough to get that um, the 5% chance is worth it, or the royal jelly. It's just not worth it, pretty much. Because if we look into here, and then you go to here, you have to complete quest for her, uh, in which case, uh, maybe? Or consumes obtained from bee queen's advancement line. So yeah, I don't want to consume any of this. I want to save it. And... Which means I need to either kill 64 spiders or gulp down 16 bottles. I can do that, actually. Let's see how much what that gets me. I feel like this would be actually beyond disgusting in real life. Well, that did give us a royal jelly, which is nice. So we'll take it. Yeah, all these quests are just too tedious for me to get a weird chance at it. So I'm going to go ahead and just go find an evoker with a mob swab. Hopefully we can go find one somewhere. You guys aren't going to believe me, but I just checked our thing before I left. And one of these is a mansion. So I'm thinking we can actually use this mansion to create a thing. I go store mansion. Yeah. Oh, we still need more of these though. I have to go kill some guys. I was exploring the RF tools dimension looking for it. And this is an interesting, I've never seen this before. Interesting gen. Apparently, I guess it comes with one of the variations, but I've, I've just never seen it. All right. I was looking for blobs and got uh, bored finding them. They're, they're really rare spawns. So let's go find, hopefully, a woodland mansion. So it's going to go south, near southwest. I don't know. This is a woodland explorer's map, so I'm hoping it's a mansion. Very interesting way to generate a village, I do say. <laughs> That's insane. Alright, I was traveling towards it and I found this goat. <laughs> so, I think we need this goat. Um, no, not this. Um, give me some cobblestone here. Give me that. And can I swab this goat by chance? 
Oh, we can. Okay. So if I can land and get you to target me, sir. Hello? I haven't slept in a while. Go. Yes. Target me, please. Oh, he's lowering his head. Maybe? Come on. Do something, please. What if I punch you? That needs to happen. Don't run. Come back. Oh my god. He's not doing anything. I've been here for a while. This is a pretty cool area. Looks like water pools and then we have a big cave area. That could be good for a base. And like the water keeps just dropping down. Make a waterfall out of that. Drop down to here. And then drop all the way down to here. That'd be pretty cool. And it did in fact lead to a mansion, so I can go ahead and uh, break in and find... Who do we need? We need a totem. Totem, who drops you? An evoker, right. I have found the evoker. Give me your DNA. And then die. I'm wondering if I can find maybe two more evokers in here. We don't even need, we don't even need to make a spawner out of them. We'll see. Looks like I'll need to. There are only two in that entire place, so. I will, in fact, need to make an evoker spawner, which is not too bad. Go ahead and make one of those. Hello, chicken. Thank you. Just going to repurpose one of the Enderman spawners. We don't really need them. These guys are annoying. We don't really need the EMC coming out of here. It's not that much anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you. Now you should spawn evokers and we should get totems. Oh, we already have five. Cool. All right. I have an idea to get blobs. We're going to try a void world here. And then we will build in it. Hopefully, that's enough. 120 a tick for... For what? 120 a tick for a void world? Come on. Alright, let's step into said void world. Alright. Should put no structures on, but that's fine. So I came down to the bottom. We're instantly getting hella bats. Ooh, it turns out my idea was genius. Look at them all. <laughs> So yeah, if you're having trouble finding Blob, just make a Void World, come down to the bottom, and uh, go for it. Oh no, one of the Blobs actually jumped off. Some of these are slimes, I guess. Wait, which ones are slimes? Is all slime? Is this a slime? Dude, come on. Where are the Blobs? Let's see what this shift does. Oh, you blue hole. How dare you. Apparently I found something that said uh, the higher pick rate that it takes to upkeep something, they can spawn more. So I'm just coming down to our diamond dimension and I will stab the blobs down here. Thank you. Why did I just get a task for that? Add this stuff, man. All right. Yeah, that definitely seems to be the move. I'm about to put another layer on top of this, but uh, yeah. So they weren't spawning in the other dimension, the void dimension, because it was too low cost, I guess. But now they're spawning here. Go ahead and uh, throw... I put it... Dang it, I got the Y level wrong. <laughs> uh, oh well. Alright, I made a dimension of... Blocks of emeralds to try and... So we have 2500 to tick. Um, we'll try this. And then see how that goes. Hopefully that gets the... All of them spawning. Well, here's a world full of emerald blocks, so... About as expensive as I can make it right now. I'm not even sure if that data was right because there's like no information about these things online. I'm just going off old, years old Reddit posts at this point. <laughs> Look at all those emerald blocks just getting trashed. <laughs> also, if anyone knows what's going on, I cannot get these flux points. I think it's the builder can't take any more than 20k a tick. And I'm not sure why. There we go. It is 20k aside. That's the problem. So now I can get more power. Because before it was just dead. Now it's 
Could be zooming, yeah. And oh yeah, now we're getting a constant. I did it over here too in our diamond core. Now we're getting much more per second consistently. Actually, like two, two, actually two to three million. Let's bump it up even more. Now we're capped at 40. Can we get more? 60. More. 80. We're out of spaces, though. That's unfortunate. But hey, now we went from like, what, 1 point something million per second to 7.5 mil? Much faster. They're actually going so fast, we're starting to back up on red matter, so I might need to up this to from something from 1.6 to maybe something like this. Or go every 100 million. I don't really care at this point. But I do like the constant 7.47 instead of it like always going all over the place. Alright, I'm in the diamond one and the brick was cancelled on our quarry for some reason. And there's a suspicious amount of blobs in this di in this shaft. Not really sure what's going on. Like they're I don't know why they're here. I can't find them anywhere else. There's a lot of them. What what's going on? Look how fast this thing moves now. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I found one in the mine shafts of this. All for nothing. All the other endeavors for nothing. Regen 5 is insane, actually. Nice. Yeah, so apparently this is good enough. I just have to find a mine shaft, I guess. I don't know why they like this place so much. Like, look how fast these dudes regain health. It's insane. You're lucky I have a good weapon. That they can put a quest for us, though. Let's go ahead and see it. We got a mushroom plushie and a nether star. Okay. Mm I also realized we have to get loot right the way we have to get it anyway. We can't skip it because we have to get the thing. Oh, God dang it. But we can start crafting some other stuff like a void tier, for example, that we do need. Or... Uh, what was it again? We needed it for this, which means we need a charge snowball. Go back. We need a singularity, which needs 256k of something. I don't remember how much it needs, but we can pump full whatever it needs. I'm not really too worried about that. And then, oh, why do we go back here? Um, done, done, done. This is easy enough. And then the goats, we gotta get that somehow. We gotta find it. And then a glacial staff, which we don't have. Um, but it should be easy enough to craft. We need to get a frozen core from the snow golems. That's the only thing holding us back. Look at our little snow golem. Give me your DNA. Die! Thank you. Alright, I'm not sure what happened. I came back to our area. The wither is gone, and when I spawned in, everything died around me. So I'm really not sure what <laughs> what happened here. We never lost power. I don't know what happened. We don't really need emeralds anymore. Go ahead and get some snow golems out of there. And then let's see if I can... Uh, let's see. Let me just turn this off real quick. On when powered. Okay. Hopefully get one of those snow cores. And there we go. We actually got... A frozen core. Um, I'm not sure why I did this, but it's uh, better than waiting and trying to kill as many as I can. But now we don't actually need that anymore, but <laughs> it's whatever. And here's one glacial staff. Then a charged snowball, just 500,000 into a snowball let's go ahead and do that instant very nice moan work faster we can make it for the quantum entangle porter our first piece of refined obsidian while we wait on that though we can go ahead here and we have three of eights um yeah well let's get another exporter how about that 
And where are you? Export bus. Thank you. Come here. And we need some smart cable. Dent is going to look weird. Grab some smart cable. Boom, boom. Uh, condenser. Condense into matter balls. Singularity is 256k. Easy enough. Here's our quantum entangle porter. Very nice and easy. Get rid of that and that. The goat finally charged me right as I teleported over here. In my way stone. I need you to let me get ready first, please. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and force feed this thing 256,000 items and there's no link that'll output enough to where it won't take 6,000 years. So, for now, we're just going to... Oh my god. A little bit of a backup here. We'll break that for now and then what do I do with the other thing? Dang it. Let's see how much we had him back up though. From 45 bill to 47.7 billion. Nice. Let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Take my pants off. I can't shift click in midair. There. And now we should be pulling everything we can out of this. And we will create a singularity with diamonds instead. <laughs> we'll throw it 256,000 diamonds. Now for the goat horn before we end the episode. I will spawn goats in a stone chamber. One of them will charge me and I will dodge. This dude oh my god, there's jump there's jumping out. Not sure I give myself enough room to react with all these. I can't pay attention to all of them and react fast enough. I got rammed. I've been waiting here for so long. The only one's charged me. I got one, but I don't think it's the one we need. Come on. Keep going. I think this one might only be at Pillage Outpost because it does not have EMC value. Let's see. Can I make this actually? Yeah, no. It doesn't have EMC value, and the ones that I'm getting from here do. Yeah, I've only gotten Feels and Seeks. Have not gotten anything else. Another feel. And just like that, after I said that, we got a ponder. That's nice. So yeah, this is a pretty good method, especially if you have... I forgot what boots or what armor I have on, but if I shift, they can't come anywhere near me. And once they charge, I can just pop up. Just like that. Very good strat. And we got ponder. Very nice. And there's our goat trophy. Go check on our singularity and then we can uh, call it quits for today. And we've actually made four singularities. I mean, we've pumped over a million diamonds <laughs> into the into that. Good, uh, good, nice though. I think we'll just do stars. Let's see how many stars we can get. Oh, not what I meant to do. And then I gotta get the thing right. This makes it go back and forth a little bit between 6 and 12 million, but um, at least this way we won't back up. That's all that really matters. But that means we can go ahead and uh, make the goat plushie. There we go. And learn that. Which means we have one, two, three, four of the. Four of the nine. We are well on our way. A block of gold completely useless to me, but thank you. <laughs> uh, that's such a bad reward for that, but oh well. Um, now we don't actually need you anymore. That was a little overkill, but uh, yeah, what are we gonna do? But that'll about end it for this episode. Um, uh, made some more plushies, made some more progress, and then next episode, more plushies. So I will see you then.